The Service and Leadership Activities section identifies what type of activity you've been involved in over the past three years. It also helps to identify leadership abilities. The information you provide is used by our selection committee to determine who best meets the award criteria for each Q scholarship. The information you provide is confidential and will not be shared with others. If you have not been involved in any service or leadership activities over the past three years, click the I do not have any activities checkbox at the bottom of the page and continue to the next page. If you have been involved in any service and leadership activities over the past three years, I suggest you prepare your list in advance. Many students ask us what, what types of service and leadership activity we are looking for. They are not sure that they have any. I suggest you start by opening a blank Word doc or a Google doc. Take the time to brainstorm each activity you can think of that you've been involved in over the past three years. List everything you can think of, paid or unpaid. Never mind how short or how simple the activity was or where the activity took place. Some of your activities might be leadership activities and some might not, but list everything you can think of. This will include school, church, or community activities. Once this list has been prepared, Return to the Service and Leadership Activity section in the online application. So let's get started. Did you know you can click on each box or hit the tab button to go from box to box in the online application? If you see a question mark, this is a help button. It provides you with more information about what is required. The online application allows you to enter up to eight entries, so be sure to select your most significant activities from the list you've prepared in advance. Name of organization or activity. Enter the name of the organization first. If the activity is not associated with an organization, list the name of the activity only. Position held. This could be a staff member title or a volunteer title. Responsibilities. List your job responsibilities. Click on the question mark, the help bubble. This reminds you not to forget to mention the impact of your service, if applicable. Renumeration. Were you paid for this activity? Yes or no? Group. You may choose from school, church, or community. What month did you start the activity? List the year you started the activity. List the month you ended the activity. List the year you ended the activity. If your activity is still ongoing, you can list the month that you're applying for Q scholarships and then list present to let us know that the activity is continuing. Using the activity start and end date, calculate your total activity hours. You can use an online date calculator or do the math yourself. For example, if you started your activity in September 2022 and finished December 2022, that means you were involved in this activity for four months. If you worked for 15 hours per month, multiply 15 hours by four months. This equals 60 hours. This number is the number that you will enter into the total activity hours box. Never ever leave the total activity hours box blank or as zero. If you are having trouble calculating your total activity hours, reach out to us so that we can show you how. Finally, 
Indicate whether this activity required you to demonstrate leadership abilities. For example, if you are a coach, team lead, or president, select yes. If you were a member or did not take on a leadership role, you would answer no to this question. Once you have completed your first activity, click at add another activity to add more. Here is a final tip for listing your activities. Do not list multiple activities separately for only one position that you have held. For example, if you are Vice President of the Concordia Management Union, list that as one activity listing. Do not list your roles and responsibilities for this one position in separate activity listings. Instead, write your roles and responsibilities down in the Responsibilities text box provided.